Hi everyone, this is Malon B or Malon from Facebook Malon Shop. I know, again, this is going to be late, so I'm really sorry about that, but I just, well, I had the time. Um, I took Friday off work uh, because I was feeling kind of sick, and even now my throat is still kind of bothering me, so um, I don't know if I sound weird or not, but if I do, uh, that's probably why. So I'm sorry about that ahead of time. Uh, but I do have a few things that I finished, or at least semi-finished. I do have, well, actually two completed items that are actually completed. Uh, let me show you my scarf. Um, I know I showed you this last time I finished it. Um, it's just a uh, an infinity scarf. There you go. And I did stretch, as you can see, of course. And at the end, I just um, uh, crocheted them together. Um, I used half double crochet, and it looks like this. I usually wear it twice or wrapped around twice, something like that. I really do like it. I've worn it um, a few times. Again, I'm sorry about my voice. <laughs> I worn it a few times, and I did get one, one compliment, which I guess is good that I at least got any compliments at all. And I don't know if it's bad that I only got one, but um, that was a plus. I wasn't expecting it. It was this lady who was looking around. Um, I was in a store browsing and she was like, hey, I like your scarf. Did you make it? And I was like, yes. Now see, I don't know if it's just me, but I was like, is it that obvious that I made it? Meaning, you know, does it look, you know, kind of bad or, I mean, I don't know how to take that, but I was just like, yeah. And she said it was, it was so pretty and uh, I just said thanks. And <laughs> that was pretty much it. Uh, it did make me think about um, maybe starting to make wearables and add, adding them to my Etsy shop, but at the same time, I know that so many people do make, you know, like scarves or hats, etc. Uh, there's just a whole a whole bunch out there. I don't know if whatever I would make uh, would stand out so much, but that's just something I'm thinking about. Um, maybe I'll just keep it on. But anyway, I did finish this. I also did finally finish um the crochet bag at uh, the flower for it i know last time i said uh, i was going to maybe do a removable flower for that i was kind of uh rethinking the whole idea of adding anything to it because um i was thinking about how much the bag will stretch and once i do or my my aunt or whoever <laughs> uses it uh, i was thinking maybe she'll do something like uh, grocery something heavy would really stretch it out and I was thinking that if I add something to it, um, I don't know how that's going to work with the stretching or if it will work very well. So, and I, I also did think about making a removable flower, but, um, and I should have brought one to show you, but that the back pins or the pin backs or whatever you call them that I have, uh, which it would be, you know, the little pin, the, the stuff that pins have in the back that lets you pin it on anything. The ones I have are pretty small, um, and if you guys remember the size of my bag, I'll just show it to you. It is pretty large, so um, to the to the size of the flower I wanted, uh, that that small pin pin thing would not have been working so well. So I just decided to sew it on, and it looks like this. Oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It looks like this. What do you guys think? I do like it a lot. This is the whole bag and it's pretty big. And the flower pattern I used came from the, um, the ear warmers from Olivia's Crochet Along. So I just used the same flower thing, um, just made it a little bigger. But anyway, that is complete. I also had one thing which I was kind of upset about. You guys remember my uh, my scarf? Well, I don't know if it's a scarf, my shawl. You guys remember this one? I still love it. I think it is so pretty. Uh, but the one thing that was kind of upsetting is, and of course I have not worn this yet because it's been a little too cold to wear something so light. Um, so it was just jumping around in my closet, you know, thinking of where to store it and stuff like that. And if you guys remember, or I don't know if I showed you guys, but 
the way I blocked it was with little points at the end. At the end here, it had little points. Uh, those points went away, and it ended up just you know, and it it ended up staying straight like this, which is not a problem. But what bothered me was that it started curling really bad, really badly. And even now, you can kind of see it, even though this is not as bad as it was before. I did take some pictures before and after and what I ended up doing was uh, one crochet row, one single crochet row and then one row of half double crochets. And I have not blocked it again, but I'm hoping that with that, once I do block it one more time, it, sh it should fix that, hopefully. Otherwise, that means that this yarn is awesome, but it does not block very well, which I don't know, for projects like this, maybe it kind of sucks. or. Actually, it was probably my fault, to be honest, because I ended a pattern, I think, in a place where I was not supposed to end it, just because I wanted to use up as much yarn as I wanted, or as I, as I could, uh, to finish up the skein, so it was probably my fault, and since I'm still kind of a newbie, I have no idea what will work <laughs> and what won't. But I did try to fix it with, you know, one single crochet row, that didn't work. Um, also, they tried, um, well, in the actual pattern, it does have a, a, a crochet end to it. I think it's uh, something like little loops or, I don't know, it has some crochet edging to it. And I tried that as well, but that that didn't work at all. So I found that this was the, the, best, um, the best I could do. And if I add more crochet rows to it, it probably will work even better. But at the same time, um, you know, if I add so much crochet to it, I think it will kind of take away from the knitting, which, you know, it's not a bad thing necessarily, but, you know, I'm like telling myself, I should have just crocheted the whole thing then, and I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I plan to block it out again, and hopefully uh, that does fix the, the curling there. I did also finish, or almost finished two of the Amigurumis from uh, the book I'm doing. Of course, I did the lion, and I say almost finished because I did not put the faces on it yet, or on them yet, which is no surprise, but I, I plan on doing that once I have them all completed. Uh, this is the lion. It looks really cute. It's one of my, my favorites. And I also did the monkey. And again, with no face, <laughs> it's probably a little creepy, but that's what it looks like. I made a long tail. I actually don't even know if it's as long as it called for, but whatever. <laughs> I just said whatever looked good or all right for me. So uh, that is what I, I did so far. Um, and there is, well, other than my Mario blanket, there is one more thing I'm working on, and it's another shawl. Also using the amazing yarn, but this one is another, another colorway. I think it's called Constellation. And I have made this pattern before. Uh, when I made it the first time, uh, I don't think I had any problems with the, with the curling, the edges curling, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem with this one either, um, hopefully. But I forget the name of the scarf. As I mentioned, I didn't make it before. It's called the Age of Brass and Steam Kitchen. And this one is also a free pattern uh, from Ravelry. I don't know where it came originally from, but I found it via Ravelry. And with this colorway so far, it's looking like this. It's still on the needles, of course. I haven't finished, so sorry if it doesn't really show that well, but I really like this colorways. Um, and this one is by Lion Brand, um, called Amazing Yarn or something. Um, I know La Red Hearts, I think, has one. I don't know what other brands have you know, something similar where it's kind of like self-striping. Um, if you guys know which others are like that, let me know. I do want to try them out. Uh, maybe they're a little better at blocking. Uh, just because I, I really, it was my first time trying out that yarn on the, the red shawl. And I just really liked it. Uh, well, other than that, I mean, that that's pretty much it. My Mario blanket I'm still working on. No real progress there. And I'm working on the shawl. Um, I do have some news, I guess. Um, I will be doing a haul video sometime. I did order some more stuff, 
which was pretty bad on my part. Um, I got uh, some more stuff from Lion Brand and the box is back there and I also got some more stuff from I think oh no it wasn't really hard I got stuff from Joann's uh, which I'm still waiting for and from one of the other websites I usually buy online from which I'm still waiting for and um, you know due to the Black Friday or and Cyber Cyber Monday or Cyber Week or whatever they call it uh, I was pretty bad in order some of that I also did go to Walmart and got a lot of the Red Heart Jumbos games that were on sale. I think they were maybe under four dollars, and mainly because you know I'm working, uh, I'm doing the Mario blanket uh, using that yarn, and that is gonna go through a lot. So I got maybe I think 15 skeins in total, and there were still a few colors that they didn't have. Um, they were sold out on their website, so I ended up uh, looking at Joanne's for that. And it, of course, I found other other stuff I wanted, so I just ended up doing a haul there. But once I do get them in, um, I probably will do a haul. And also, I did recently join, and I forgot her name, um, but she does the uh, yarn addiction videos. Um, I don't know if that's her her Facebook page name, yarn addiction, but I'll probably post the link below so you guys can check it out. I recently joined her, her group, so um, the next haul, or probably the, the hauls I have from now on, I'll, I'll probably do, um, do do it via her group, um, yarn addiction, you know, whatever. <laughs> so just to let you guys know. And also, some more news. Um, I did reach uh, 200 subscribers on my YouTube, which is pretty exciting. So thank you guys for watching um, and for subscribing, of course. Uh, which means I will be doing a haul, not a haul, a giveaway. You know that means giveaway time. I probably will have um, two winners as usual. And I actually did not pick out any yarn yet. I know I have a lot to, to pick from, so I didn't do that yet. Uh, if I do it today, I probably will have the video up later today. If not, maybe tomorrow. Um, today's Saturday, so if I have time tomorrow, I definitely will do one then. I don't know if I'll have the total packages for you guys like to show you, but at the least I will show you some of the some of the stuff I'll be including. And I don't know how I want to pick the winners this time, but I'll try to make it fun. Um, anyway guys, I will see you next time and uh, until next week, I will really try not to be late this time. Um, have a great weekend and see you see you soon. Bye.